Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an ebook application in Visual C Sharp. Um, basically, what's going to happen is it's going to create an array of pages, and then when the next when the person hits the uh, uh, next button, it'll flip through the pages almost like an ebook. Um, not quite, but it's a coded ebook basically. Now you can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name mine C Sharp Ebook uh, Tutorial One, and um, you're going to want to hit new project and go to the visual C sharp tab, the windows tab, and then windows form application and hit OK. Now let it load up. Okay. Now you have your form. Um, the first thing you want to do is make, we're going to have probably three pages, so we're going to need three buttons. So just copy, control C, and then control V, control V. Now, these are going to go on top of button 1, so name button 1 next, button 2 next. Now, you're going to want to make button 2 invisible, though. So, go to the, under the, the uh, is it behavior? Yeah, under the behavior tab, change visible to false, and then the same for button 3. So, rename it to next, and then under the behavior tab, change visible to false and then just put it on top of button one now if we go into we're going to want to create a rich text box or a text box whichever is your preference i'm going to use rich text box because a, a viewer wanted me to do a special little tutorial type thing he's been working or i've been working with them through email but i figured uh we had a little kind of a hard time with this so i'll put this on the, as an actual tutorial though so yeah uh what, which button is this? It's button 2, button 3. So put this in the middle and put this on top. And then put this. Okay. Now. Sorry. Hold on real fast. Gotta go in butt. Now. We're gonna go. want to go into button 1. And we're gonna want to change it to. We're gonna want to make it display text. So it's gonna be. Uh, or actually first we need to create the array. That would probably be helpful. So under the public partial class form one colon form uh, uh, curly bracket, you're gonna want to type public array or public string open bracket close close bracket. Uh, I'm gonna call it pages is equal to new string open bracket close bracket. And then inside these brackets, just change it to 3. And then close it with a semicolon. Now that we can use pages, the reason I put public was so that we could use it all through form 1. Now, we're going to go back to button 1 underscore click. And we're going to want to type uh, pages, open parentheses, clo or open bracket, close bracket, and put a 1 in it. It's equal to text box. Uh, rich text box dot text is equal to no equal sign open parentheses open quotations high close quotations close parentheses semicolon and this is just find an error so let's see if that fixes it it might fix it so if we run it real fast let me just make sure this works Make sure there's no errors. Hit next. Yep, it shows. Okay, cool. Now, uh, with that in mind, um, we're going to want to do button 2. Sorry, 2. Dot visible is equal to true. So basically what's happening is it's pulling page 1 as an array and setting that page 1, that it's going to make it rich text box dot text is equal to high so then you could e you could pull page one for any uh, uh, from anywhere and one way to do that is say you wanted to declare them up here so you could do pages one <sighs> pages doesn't show up there but okay never mind just forgot I just said that <laughs> sorry okay anyways and then once the button is clicked, it's going to turn button 2 dot visible to true. So let's debug this real fast and show you what I mean. Hit next, and it shows it. Now this isn't going to do anything, but we're going to make it do something. So if we go back here, and then we slide this over, and we double click on button 2, 
we're going to want to do pages, open bracket, to close bracket, is equal to rich text box dot text equals open parentheses, uh, open quotations, continue, close quotations, close brackets, or close parentheses, semicolon, and then button, button three dot, sorry, button three dot visible is equal to true. So, this time it'll show page two, which is equal to continue in text, and then it'll make button three visible. So let's try that out. Now remember, button one is, button two is now on top of button one, so it creates the fact that there's no new button created, which to a user, he, they would never know. But to you, you know you coded it three times. So do, do the same for, uh, for button three, but make it page three equals rich text box dot text is equal to open parentheses quotations by semicolon. Now for this one, you don't need any button four dot visible because there's no button four. But if you have more pages, you're going to need that obviously. Now I'm sure this is a very inefficient way, but when I was doing it with an array, it did not allow me to create an if statement with a um, array. So uh, that this is my way around it. There's probably more efficient ways, but yeah, this is a very basic tutorial. Um, now, basically, if we hit debug and we hit it once, hi shows up, continue shows up, and then oh, what happened here? Um, button three dot visible. Huh. That is odd. Button true. Hmm. One, two, three. Let's figure this out real fast. Okay, so button one. And then button two, and then let's make sure it's so, true. Button, button three dot visible is equal to true. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you about arrays is that it starts as zero, not one, which I forgot. So basically, what I just told it is to make an invisible page, which there is no such thing. So, sorry, I didn't mean to run it there. Okay, so. Go back here and go into form one and then change it to zero one two I f totally forgot about that sorry guys but now that we fixed the problem if we run it hit next hit next hit that still did not fix the problem what is the problem hmm okay well let's change this to four I guess Okay, well, you get the idea. Um, I don't know why button 3 is not working right now, but you get the idea of what it uh, does and what you need to do for it. Sorry, I could not get it to work. It's very it's very odd, considering the rest of them work. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, you, un you get the point of it, uh, <laughs> I hope. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for the subscribers that have subscribed. I think I got like five new subscribers between yesterday and today, which is amazing for me. Um, so yeah, comment, write, subscribe. My email is vadlack12 at gmail.com. Um, I'm more than welcome to answer emails or anything like that. So yeah.